So one thing about this turbo, it doesn't come with a roof. And as you can tell, I'm a little fair skinned and Deb as well. And we don't like that raging sun beating down on us when we're trying to cruise around and have a good time. So we found a solution and a pretty inexpensive solution, a aluminum low profile, very inexpensive roof. And we're gonna put it on right now. All right guys, right off the bat, I uh, just want to let you know this probably only cost 130 bucks, um, and as you can see, it's uh, co powder coated black. Um, it's got a little uh, lip here on the sides. Uh, on the front, it kind of kind of goes down a little bit to kind of hide that upper bar a little bit. And on the back, and you'll see this better when we get it mounted, but there's like a little lip here on the back, uh, kind of nice looking. So it really does have a little bit of effort in construction here. And for 130 bucks on eBay with free shipping, uh, this is an unbranded product, they said. So I really honestly don't know and don't care who makes it. But it was at my doorstep in about two days. So that was amazing shipping. Um, yeah, it has a couple flaws here and there. But uh, for the price, I'm not going to argue about it because I'm probably going to get it beat up as well. So be sure to get yourself some of these, uh, a set of these Torx wrenches. If you're not familiar with these, they're the ones with the little star on there. Um, for the roof, there's factory bolts already installed. And it looks like they're a, a T40 or Torx 40. Um, but there's absolutely going to be different Torx nuts throughout the car. So get yourself a set. They're 10 or 15 bucks. Um, not sure you're going to need an impact grade, but when hurt, um, and really, I don't think that there's too many different torque sizes. So in a future video, when we show you what gear we bring along with us on rides, uh, we'll probably have it nailed down to which ones that I actually need to bring and which others will be, uh, you know, garage heroes. Okay, obviously this is the front mount. T40 fits right in there, nice and snug. Just make sure it's nice and snug, guys. If it's not snug, you might screw something up. It's just uh, you know, if you're not sure, uh, double check. And for the back mounts, looks like I'm going to probably uh, have to use a, a nut. I don't see a factory uh, screw to use here, so I'll probably have to back it with some nuts, um, and that's okay. So guys, first, a little tip that really you'll benefit from. Be sure to get yourself some Loctite Blue removable Loctite. Use it on everything, guys. Just a tiny drop will do. Trust me, it's going to save you headaches in the future okay guys so the hardware that came with it have these little uh i don't know about an inch and a half screws with a four millimeter allen head on there so you probably want to pick up an allen head screw four millimeter i like these little sets uh just like the star um sets you can get them in various sizes so that's a four millimeter right there and then these nuts are 10 millimeter um while you're picking up tools, buy about 10 of these 10 millimeter wrenches. They're used all over the place and you can never have enough 10 millimeter uh, screws. Now these are nylock um, and they're conveniently powder coated black or painted black, which is really neat. Um, but you know, um, I'm still going to dab it just slightly with a little bit of thread locker because I don't care. Okay, on the, on the front mounts where you took out the factory uh, T40 bolts, uh, you got this little spring clip here. Uh, don't forget to remove those, one on each side. Okay, guys, when you're all done, this is what you should be uh, left with. And uh, luckily, the uh, roof came with a little Ziploc bag that I'm just going to reuse and keep the factory hardware and put it in the uh, with the maintenance logs, I guess, and uh, in case someone ever wants to return to stock which I doubt. All right, guys, that's about all the thread locker you need. That's probably even too much. Uh, as it threads through that, it'll pick up anything and, uh, and then uh, have a nice uh, removable seal on that bolt. All right, guys, I got everything on there, but I got the screws uh, still loose. And what I'm going to do is take a tape measure and uh, just like that you're... Uh, making cabinets and you got to square them up. I'm going to square them corner to corner. Uh, just make sure that it's nice and even. Uh, then I'm going to snug them down and uh, I figure I'm going to torque them until I feel like nothing's going to break. And there we go guys. 
all installed. Now, uh, one word of caution. Um, like I said, make sure you get all four corners kind of snug, but you're able to still move it side to side, front to rear, to get it positioned just right in case these bolt holes don't quite match up. Um, I would recommend if you put any kind of uh, adventure racks on here, spare tires mounted, uh, maybe upgrade to a, a larger uh, grade eight bolt nut here. But because it's aluminum, uh, it bends pretty easily. Um, it's lightweight and uh, I torqued it down pretty good and it's not moving. And uh, here's that little tail I was mentioning, kind of a little flip up here makes for a maybe a nice uh, single row light up under here maybe tuck something up there but uh, looks kind of cool you know I heard these uh, wings make you go faster ask any kid and on the inside you can see it's uh, nice and smooth and uh, leaves plenty of room for mounting other accessories and it doesn't quite touch the roll cage as you can see here at the front, it's uh, rested firmly against that factory eyebrow thing right here. Now, the reason I didn't take it off is because I have a, a framed uh, glass windshield coming in, and it's designed to fit up here. Um, so, so I'm not touching this plastic anymore. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this episode. Glad you could stop by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost an absolute thing. It helps us out more than you would know. And be sure to share this with your friends. Hit that thumbs up if you like what we're doing here. And we'll see you on the next one.